Importing Files. For now, I want you to understand that yes, we have the option to write all the code that we want for our application and libraries in one file. However, sometimes it's important to split these files into a few different files to make it a bit more modular and easier to work with. Maybe you want to create a library for multiple other files to use or you want to create an interface for your contracts to implement something. Whatever the case, just know that we can split these files up and import them. Let's take a look at how to import a different file. Now, what other file are we going to import? Well, we do have these extra ones that Remix provides to us. And this owner.sol is pretty interesting. You don't have to understand the contents of this contract. Just know that this contract ensures that someone can be the owner of a contract and that we can change ownership. Later on, we'll learn how to code this ourselves. For now, this seems like a pretty cool functionality to have in my contract. Let's see if I can actually import this and use it in my contract. To do this, right below the pragma and above my contract, I'm going to specify import and a file's name. I'm simply going to specify that we want this file over here to underscore owner dot sol. So now I'm technically saying to my program that I want to import this file, which is in the same directory. And that's how easy it is to import another file. But why is this important and why should we even do this? Well, if we look at the owner file, we notice that it's also a contract called owner. And this file also has some kind of import, a console sole file. But regardless, if I now go back to my file, I can actually extend my contract by saying that my new contract is owner. Like so. What does this syntax even mean? First of all, it's called inheritance and basically it means that my contract is going to inherit all the properties of this owner contract. This means that if I go to the deploy section and I select my contract once more and deploy it and I expand the functionality, no longer is it empty. And we have these two functions, a get owner, which if I click it, I can see is the address, which is my address that I use to deploy this contract from. And I also can change the owner. That is strange. Well, not really because our contract is getting all this information and the functions from this owner contract because we inheriting all its properties. Later on, we'll look deeper into inheritance. For now, I just wanted to use this as an example because this is why we want to import certain files. For now, we can remove this because we want to focus on more basic concepts first. 